This is me, about to kill a player with no armor, but how? Well first, I need to give you some context. 10 blocks out of YouTubers gave me their hardest PvP challenges for me to complete, and throughout every challenge, it will get harder. And if I complete 9 or more of the 10 challenges, Bluefly will show me how he makes these thumbnails. But if I lose, I will have to give him a month of $10 Discord Nitro. So let's hope we can win this bet so I don't run out of money. Okay, Mayhem gave me an interesting challenge. He told me to win a PvP fight, but I can only move forward with W, but I cannot use A, S, or D. So let's try to kill a player like this. After some failed attempts, I managed to get a fight where I killed a player with only moving forward. GG's Mayhem. We have 1 of the 10 challenges done, but if we want to get 9 of the 10 or higher, we need to try harder because this will get a lot harder. Next up, Wilbur gave me a challenge where I have to get a 6 hit combo against a real player that is fighting back. As long as I get a decent player to fight with me while trying. I theoretically can easily get a 6 hit combo, so let's try this out. This is relatively pretty easy. I managed to get a 6 hit combo on Redify, GG's. Next, Space gave me a challenge that could be hard. He told me to kill a diamond player with an iron bow and 10 arrows, while I only have wooden boots, and the player has to be hunting me. This is very hard, since a player can avoid the arrows, adding on top that an iron bow with an arrow at most can do 10 damage to the diamond player, so let's try this out. However, I killed the player when they started at low HP, not 100 HP, so this won't count as a point. So now we are behind with a score of 2 out of 3. In order to get a 9 out of 10, we need to focus hard. Next up, Mecha gave me a fascinating one. Mecha told me to bow boost into the enemy and then fight them normally. To make this more interesting, I got a very good block style PvP here, Ice Skull. I'll be 1v1 Ice Skull with the bow boost in the beginning. Oh boy, that was close. Ice Goat somehow got me to 1 HP, where it comboed him to death. This qualifies and counts, now we have a 3 out of 4. We just have to continue the streak to win, and we cannot lose a single challenge. Okay, Ice Goat gave me a challenge of PvP, but my mouse is on the left on my keyboard. In the footage, I was actually doing this, and this challenge seems not that bad, so let's try it out. Overall, it wasn't too bad, it was slightly harder than usual, but I managed to get it. The score now is 4 out of 5. From now on, the challenges will get harder, so we cannot lose focus. Next, Martin gave me a challenge of killing a player normally, but I start with 80 HP. Before Martin said 80 HP, he said 50 HP, and after he said 80 HP, I decided to do 50 HP as a challenge. So let's try to beat a person like this. And oh boy, this was way harder than I thought. After what sounded like forever, I finished it, and now we have a 5 out of 6, which is okay, but we need to get a 9 out of 10 to win, and that's very hard on our current score. Now, Bloxy gave me a very interesting yet hard challenge of killing a diamond player, but I have no armor, and I cannot use potions. In this video, I will try my best to use less bypasses compared to the last version of this video, and Bloxy didn't mention I could just use food, so I will just use a pear and plum.
After tons of failed attempts, I managed to kill Pumba with 47 HP. And considering that I have no armor, that is very impressive. Our current score is a 6 out of 7, but we have to cook so we can win this bet. Next up, Cobweb gave me a very hard challenge of killing a player with a wooden sword. Why may you think it's very hard? Well, this is way harder than you think. So, a diamond sword does 8 damage to a full diamond player, but a wood sword only does 4 damage, so I have to do double the hits without dying. This may make me lose a bet, but let's try to finish Cobweb's challenge. It took a ton of time, and I somehow barely got the kill with 3 HP left. And this brings up the score to 7 out of 8. There are two more challenges, but we cannot fail any since it's a lot harder than these challenges by far. Next, Elemental gave me a challenge. From your perspective, it seems impossible, and on most computers, it is. But he told me to PvP on PC slash laptop, but I can only use mobile controls. But how do I get mobile controls on PC? Well, since my laptop is touchscreen, I could easily do that, but it wasn't that easy since the touchscreen takes a ton of taps to click and I cannot move in any direction since it is bugged. So the plan is not to move and hope I can kill the player without dying. And also I'll be fighting a very good player, so the stakes are very high. After some attempts, I got it by killing Wooble Water with 24 HP left. But I told you, you just have to think outside of the box and you could achieve it. We only have one more challenge, and this could determine if we win or lose a challenge. And a $10 Nitro is on the line, so the stakes are very high. So let's hope we could complete this challenge without losing. Finally, Bluefly gave me a very hard challenge of beating a player with Slowness 2 and Weakness 2. Slowness 2 slows you a ton, while Weakness 2 makes you do a lot less damage. These both factors combined can make a very hard challenge, and let's hope we could do this and win the challenge. It took a lot of time, but I managed to kill a player. This gave me a victory of 9 out of 10, and we barely won like last time. A key theme why I won is I thought outside of the box, and that's a lesson. Think outside of the box, and that helped me win this bet again. Sorry, Bluefy. Thank you for watching this video until the end, and since you watched the video until the end, why not subscribe and like this video? So go on to-